Hey guys, it's Kat, and today we're gonna do a makeup transformation inspired by these horns of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I feel like every time you say his name, you have to sing it, or maybe that's just me because I'm an odd one. I actually tried to do this makeup maybe two years ago and I failed miserably, completely. So today I thought I would bring back my personal goal, some vengeance, of trying to do this. As a child and currently, I am still obsessed with the really old Rudolph cartoon with Santa Claus. I not only want this makeup to be beautiful and whimsical, but have the red nose look like he's a little bit sick. So, let's get started. First, I'm taking my reindeer ears and gonna use that as a headband to push back my hair so it's out of my face so that we could paint on it. And then, I'm going to put some tissue paper on my outfit, my little red Christmas sweater so that I won't get makeup all over it. Now I'm just getting some makeup primer and putting that all over my face. I'm using a combination of Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and the Becca Backlight Filter Primer. These two are expensive, but they do not break me out because I have very sensitive skin. Now I'm gonna start off my beauty foundation base using this Benefit Play Stick. It is this relaunch of this foundation stick that they had like 10 years ago, and I've always wanted to try it, so I thought, well, why not try it in this video? I'm gonna swipe it all over my face, but not on my under eyes, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender, or a dupe like I'm using here, which is from Real Techniques. If I had to give a mini review right now at this first time using it, it is very fragrant. It smells like some sort of like essential oil or something and it's kind of strong, but it does give a beautiful finish and looks very natural and it does like a lightweight to medium coverage. I wouldn't say all the way full coverage, maybe if you cake on many more layers. And it says it gives a matte finish, but I think it's more of like a dewy natural. But that might also be because I put the backlight filter on my face as a primer before. And I'm gonna cover my pimples with my Urban Decay Weightless Concealer because I have like this unicorn little mini horn between my eyebrows. It's a not so cute pimple. And you can even like tap that with a stipple brush to make it more full coverage and make sure that pimple's very covered. And now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm gonna get a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and put that where I would put my under eye concealer where we didn't put foundation on before. This is going to brighten up our eyes and give a more mythical woodland creature-like look. Reindeers and deers in general have very bright under eyes sometimes, like they have white furs there. I looked up pink nose reindeers on Google and that was the reference pictures I used to do this makeup. So I'm just getting a tiny beauty blender to blend that in and putting it a little bit on my eyelid as well. And I'm gonna put that white cream makeup also a little bit on my nose. You don't need a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil for this. You could actually use just a white cream makeup as long as it's not too greasy. Once I have my white eyes and white nose, I'm setting the entire face with some translucent powder. And now it's time to do my eyebrows. I'm just using a drugstore brow pencil. This is a dupe for the Anastasia brow pencil, but I feel like it's more thicker, waxier, and more pigmented. This is the L'Oreal brow pencil. Getting my Kat Von D shade in light contour palette and contouring the sides of my cheeks, making some cheekbones. I'm doing all this contour because I feel like it gives the reindeer's face a more slenderized look, and my face is very round. In also doing contour on the sides of our forehead and contouring our nose. And I'm gonna contour the corner of my eyes very lightly though. I am also using a more natural apricot peachy blush. And now it's time to get a fan brush with a brown cream paint. I'm just using one of my Ben Nye wheels of cream paint and doing hair-like brush marks on the contour that we did on our cheeks. You can also do this brush-like, hair-like motions of cream paint on your bridge of your nose, on your chin, and the sides of your forehead. Any areas you want it to look furry and whimsical, give some definition. Now we are getting a mixture of a red and pink cream paint and doing that on our nose and on the inner corner of our eye. Most creatures, including reindeers, have a very much bigger tear duct. It makes their eyes look bigger and whiter. I'm also putting some white cream paint around the bottom of my nose near my cupid's bow. Now getting our brown cream paint that we use for the fur-like brush strokes of the contour around our face, we are also using that on our nose, around it having a dip in the middle of it. This is gonna make us look very creature-like and you can feather it out on the bottom of your nose and bringing that down on our cupid's bow to the top of our lip but not on the bottom. Getting a black eyeliner, this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and outlining my nose. 
and getting some black cream paint to blend that into the other colors that I painted my nose as well. Getting my favorite nude lipstick by Violet Voss. I'll put the name of this and all the products I use in this video down in the description box below. You do not want to paint on that line that reaches our top upper lip, but just paint the rest of your lips. Now it's time to get some white cream paint with a very small concealer brush and do dot-like marks around your cheeks and on areas near your forehead. This is gonna give a more deer-like look that looks like Bambi or a reindeer. Their fur sometimes have patterns of white, brown, and black in it. So I really wanted to look whimsical and like a cute little creature with these dots on my face. And once I put those dots on my face, I decided to erase my nose. Not all of it, just the top portion. I thought it was too dark and I wanted my nose to look more like it was irritated and red and rashy and not like a straight up nose with a red dot. I also put some foundation and concealer on top of there and then redid the red irritation of the cute little reindeer nose like he's sick in a forest and put some more brown around it to define it but not completely turn the whole nose brown. Getting my black liquid liner and doing a very dramatic cat eye, especially on those inner corner pink areas, you wanna outline those into like a triangle diamond shape and then do a bottom line like where the reindeer's eyelashes would be. You can make this as big or close to your lash line as you want. I did a little bit below my bottom lash line so my eyes look bigger and do a very winged out thick eyeliner on top. This is going to give a very dramatic eye that you could set some fake eyelashes that we're going to do on later. And it's going to draw so much attention to the cute doe-like eyes, even though we have a little glammed out reindeer. Now we're just getting a black pencil eyeliner and lining the upper lash line so that it's seamless and there isn't like skin color. Getting my Beverly Hills highlighter from Ofra and using the white near the white parts on my eyes and the golden part on my cheeks. And then the second to lightest color on certain areas of my face. You can even do whites in the corners of your eyes and then highlight just everything you want. I even highlighted my bottom lip, which was adorable. I don't know how highlighting could be adorable, but I think it is. Now just curling my lashes and getting ready to put some false eyelashes on and putting some mascara on as well. Getting these amazing lashes from House of Lashes. I'll put the style down below with their lash glue. That's my favorite and putting that on my eyelids. Now I'm just going in with my liquid eyeliner and drawing in some bottom lashes. This is going to make your eyes look very doll-like, sort of Tim Burton-ish. It reminds me of Sally for some reason. And it's just going to make your eyes look more doughy like a cute little baby reindeer. And it's not just like a white paint with a little black line. And with that, you can be completely done with this makeup transformation, but I decided to get a wig that matched the little hairs and antlers on the reindeer headband I have. Putting on a wig cap and getting this gorgeous, caramely light brown wig. Styling on my head and putting on those fake reindeer ears and antlers back on. And with that, you're completely done with your Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer makeup look. This is not quite effects, but it's definitely like a little bit of beauty and fantasy. I think it's so adorable. It's great for like if you really want to go out for Christmas parties. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And now it is time to take off all this makeup. I love the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm to take off beauty makeups and makeups like this. If you guys do this makeup or any makeups from my YouTube channel and would like to post it on Instagram, you could tag me, hashtag CatSketch on there. I would love to see them and shout them out. Again, thanks for all the support. I hope you guys have a great holiday coming up. And so sorry if I sound a little bit off in this video. I am very sick when I'm filming this and recording these voiceovers. But I just wanted to push through for you guys because I can't leave you hanging. I try my hardest. And I love you all. See you soon in another video. Bye!